I don't know if you're high enough, lovey. Oh no. Uh, you do, do you go any higher? I'm all the way up. I raised the level. All right, so I need a different chair. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Give me a lower sound. This is me sitting. Should I sit on the pillow? We're trying to get our seating arrangement uh, figured out here. It's not coming well. I need a cushion or something. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my God. Wait, it needs to come forward a little. Just make sure you elongate that spine. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is a nice, like, I feel like a news anchor. Welcome to WCLM News. <laughs> I'm your host, Shane Robert. Bertal. And this is my co-host. Yeah, what? I thought you were going to introduce yourself. I'm your host? <laughs> I'm the main host. <laughs> Over here we've got uh, someone who's helping. get my knees up. <sighs> Sit in a little ball. Alright, this video is about memories. Yep. It was recently, four days ago, our seven year anniversary seven years of knowing each other of, of being a couple of being in love being in love and what a wonderful seven years it has been yeah i don't know if i'm just like hormonal right now but uh you know with ibf beginning soon i'm going through lots of emotions it's making me reflect on our relationship you think you're hormonal <laughs> okay oh, wait, you the one that's supposed to be taking this? <laughs> yeah, all your injections. <laughs> oh, we did not read the label. Um, but Hannah and I have been like reminiscing a lot lately about all of the memories from throughout our time together. Yeah. So we thought today we would give you seven adorable memories yep. for our seven years together. Yep, and most of them are from pretty early on. Yeah, you might not know about some of them. They're throwbacks, and they're a little bit embarrassing. Uh, so we have our list here. We have some photos to accompany them, and let's just uh, go through. It's going to be a trip down memory lane. Yep. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. With every new season, buying clothes is like one of my favorite things to do. But I end up buying things, and then a couple months later, I realized I only wore it a couple times. Now I kind of want something different and it was a waste of money. It was bad for the planet. It's a terrible cycle. So I'm really excited about the sponsor of this video, ThreadUp. ThreadUp is an online thrift and consignment store. So you can get amazing clothes for even better prices and it's way better for the planet. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I got for my spring haul. I'll show you a couple outfits and tell you about them. All right, so here's my first outfit. I got these pants. So I already own the tank top, but I got these J. Crew Point Sur pants. They retail typically for around $115 and I got these for $11 and I just love these pants. All right, next up is a Draper James dress. That's hard to say. I love gingham, so when I saw this, I immediately knew that I wanted to get it. And while I show off my dress, I'll let you know that ThreadUp also has a new feature where you guys can click my link to see items that I ordered and then to shop similar items. So I've been using this feature a lot and it's a great way to get outfit inspiration. This is a free people dress. I love free people and I thought it was so unique. It's like a wrap style dress and it fits perfectly. I absolutely love it. I think this outfit is so perfect for spring, especially when it's a little bit cooler outside with the sweater. I love the floral skirt, the shoes. I also got their Bueno flats. So they retail for around $110 and I got them for 50. Next up is an Abercrombie and Fitch dress. This is another floral print that I love. It retails for around $60 and I got it for 12. I also got the bag. So I highly encourage you guys to go shop my picks with my link below and use code Hannah A for an extra 35% off your first order. All right, memory number one, Shane sitting on the couch. Shane gaining the ability to sit. Which we became briefly obsessed with for a couple months around when that happened. I guess I should say regain. Yeah. So when I was little, I did sit unassisted, you know, without all these straps and pads, whatever. Mm -hmm. Lost that ability over time. Then the first ever treatment for SMA became available five years ago. Yeah. I don't even remember, but yeah. I began taking it. I think like six now, yeah. Yeah, and pretty soon, I was like gaining back some strength. And one day, one evening, Hannah was like, you want to try to like sit on the couch? Yeah. I was like, yes. 
And it worked. I like held myself up. Uh-huh. We were cheering. It was so funny. So then you did it every day for like a year. Yeah. You did it in Poland. I just sat everywhere. Yeah. And he told me about New York. I was like, put me over there. <laughs> Sit me on that counter. Yeah. Obviously, we took way too many selfies during this time. And then I went and made it inappropriate with Photoshop. Oh, yeah. Shane liked to Photoshop him sitting into various spots. <laughs> I like how it looks like I'm cheering you on in this picture. Like, I'm so proud. So, Shane, use that toilet. Use that toilet. Sit on it. I'm assisted. Hannah, I think you might be shrinking. The pillows are compressing, Shane. <laughs> you long dates. This is a horrible <laughs> place to sit. Memory number two is the time that we did the Last Minute My Nightmare 5K, which, by the way, sign up now. But we did one years ago in person, yes. and Hannah did the whole thing riding a longboard, holding onto the back of my chair. Ingenious, I, I think, will say. Yeah, I think that was our second, like my second 5K that I went to mm-hmm. in person. The first one I, like jogged a little, we didn't do the whole route, but I remember jogging. And then I was like, why did I do that? I gave up halfway or something. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, why am I even doing that? I could just roll along behind you. So that the next year I brought a longboard and rolled it and I, it was amazing. I mean, I think we look pretty badass if I do say so much. I felt a little bit bad for all the runners that we were like rolling next to. We got so many, like every time we passed someone, yeah. they would say, hey, let me on that thing. Yeah, they'd be like, no cheating. I should be doing a business where I attend 5Ks mm-hmm. and give people rides along the way. Yeah. Is that cheating? Yes, it's cheating. A little bit. Well, I paid the price because I got really badly sunburned that day. Oh, yeah, you did. good. <laughs> we went to a baseball game right after, and that didn't help. By the end of that night, you were uh, burnt. It was all around a really fun day. Yeah, it was. All right, the next memory. This is a special one. I don't think we've ever shared. I haven't seen this photo in five years. Yeah, I think we've kept this hidden from you. Yeah. Since, Since it happened. Like five years ago. But I do remember taking it. This is a photo of us sitting in Shane's parents' basement, and we could not come up with a name for the YouTube channel that we wanted to start. This is like the moment. Yep. This is the moment. This is when we were like creating a YouTube account, <laughs> and it was like, what is the name? What's your title? We had like filmed our road trip from Minnesota back to Pennsylvania. Yeah. And so we had like videos ready to go. Yeah, we were like, ooh, let's put them on YouTube, and then we had to come up with a name, and this was us deliberating and we set up the camera we were like imagine if we actually do make a youtube channel and then one day we want a picture of us naming it <laughs> so dorky and now we have a youtube channel and we have a picture of us naming it we had some some foreshadowing us setting up this camera and then being like okay look tired <laughs> we were we were taking great photos for thumbnails before we even knew how important that was yeah this was we were posing but we went through a bunch of names yeah you know everyone felt not quite right and then we were like oh wait our nicknames yeah that would be really cute and we deliberated that for a while because we were like they're a little weird yeah. me and grubs is a weird title but we didn't expect people to like know about this youtube channel exactly we were like well no one's gonna see it anyway so we'll just use me and grubs <laughs> But this is the oh. moment where it all began. Could have just called it like Shane and Hannah Vlogs. We could have. That would not have been as fun. But we didn't. No, we created a brand. <laughs> Alright, the next memory is us going to Europe for the first time. Yeah, we were going to London and Paris and yeah. we, as you can see here, were huge dorks about it. Like as dorky as we could be. Uh-huh. We were like, hey Liz, Hannah's mom, take a photo of us. Getting ready for London. <laughs> With our London map and the sunglasses? Why in the world were we like, grab the sunglasses? Yeah, that's why I think of when I think of London. <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> and you and your car seat. Like, oh, this was when we invented the yeah. car seat. Yeah. We had to figure out a way for me to be able to fly comfortably. Yeah. So we bought this car seat, added all these pillows. It turned out to be pretty comfy, but... I think we underestimated the number of pillows I required. Yeah, the next photo is you on the plane where you can see we've added like 17 more, but you look pretty comfy there. Yeah, it was it was serviceable, I will say, and the onboard wine definitely helped. Um, but my biggest memory from this trip is arriving at Big Ben yeah. to find out that it was covered in scaffolding. Uh-huh. Like, we didn't get to see Big Ben. Like, 100% covered, yeah. <laughs> and I had just been there the year before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was just like, come on, Shane, like, you're gonna see it, it's gonna be amazing. And we're, like, excitedly walking through the city, uh-huh. turn the corner, <laughs> oh, there, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, well. We hadn't, we hadn't known that that was a thing, we didn't Google that. <laughs> Alright, the next memory is another travel one. We have told this story, we tell it in some speaking engagements, uh, but this photo, I haven't seen in a long time. 
It is of Shane being measured with receipt paper by the staff at the Salt Lake City Airport to see if he would fit on the plane. Yes, we arrived to fly home from a speaking date that we were doing, and the gate agent was like, how big is your chair? Yeah. And we were like, I don't know. Yeah. And they were like, do you have a tape measure? And we were like, no. Do you have a tape measure? <laughs> You're at the airport. They didn't. And they were like, no, but don't worry, we have an idea. They whip out this receipt paper. Yep. Use that. As you can see, everyone around us is like, huh. kind of docking, <laughs> kind of like trying not to look. Yeah. It was a bit of a scene. So they kind of marked where Shane was, and then they took that to the plane, and they compared it, and Shane did not fit. That, the fit. door was like two feet high. Like, okay, we could have told you that it wasn't going to get to two feet high. Yeah, so we were stranded yeah. an extra night in Salt Lake City. I know. I missed, I missed classes. While we waited for a bigger plane. And the worst part was they were like, we can't guarantee it's going to be a bigger plane tomorrow. It depends on d supply and demand. Yeah, we're actually still in Salt Lake City. <laughs> We've never been able to leave that airport. Um, but this is just another example of how inaccessible air travel is for disabled people. Hmm. Yeah. And this is also the trip where this happened. Yeah, I don't know what that... Well, I guess I was like, hey, Shane, I might be able to ride. And this is a great example of like how silly we were in the early days of our YouTube. Yeah. We were just like, film it, every film. <laughs> Get it out there. Film this. <laughs> and my mom was there, so we were just like, hey mom, film this. <laughs> this looks mildly inappropriate though. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right, the next one is a swim meet that you attended. Aw, these are like the, the little memories that are just so cute to think about. So like, when Hannah and I were long distance, she was always at swim meets. And I so badly wanted to be there, but I would just get text updates from Hannah and her mom, whatever. Yeah. But I was never there. And then finally, when I made the move to live together in Minnesota, I did there some meets. And it was so fun just like being able to be there and not receive text updates about how you were doing. Yeah. And then this photo is of my last ever dual meet, uh, which is like a thing that we would celebrate. It was called our senior meet in college and Shane brought me flowers. Aww. Aww. All right, our final and seventh memory. Uh, we've only had seven. <laughs> and this is it. These are all seven of our memories. The last thing we remember from these seven years is uh, us being on we were on a couple of talk shows. This specific one was This Morning, a UK talk yeah. show. They were so friendly. Yeah, I think we went on twice. We were, we? Yeah, we were on twice. Yeah. But this was like, again, in the beginning days, as our channel was getting bigger, yeah. and we got this email, and they were like, hey, we'd love to have you on our giant TV show. Yeah. We had to go to a studio in Minneapolis to record it wasn't recording, it was well, streaming. It was live, which was the most horrifying part. And so because of the time difference, we had to do it at like 3 a.m. Yeah. or something. And this is us on the monitor in the studio looking just petrified. I think that was the worst, <laughs> like the most terrifying moment of my entire life. Seriously. <laughs> I remember in the dream room beforehand, you were like, I can't do it. I can't. I'm going to have diarrhea. I'm going to throw <laughs> I cannot do this. It was so scary, and you can't see the hosts. You can only hear them. And there's a big time delay. Yeah. So like, they say something, and you hear it like three seconds so later. So you know that you sound awkward. It was, oh my god, horrifying. But they were very, very kind. We got through it. You did really well. Like, you I've never not... seen this segment. I have no interest in seeing this segment. Well, I watched it. You did not look nervous. All right, those are our memories. Thank you for taking the trip, the wheel down memory lane. What? Like, we wheeled down... Oh. I just said a walk down memory. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're gonna right. start using we're gonna start using words like that. That's it. You're not gonna use walk anymore. I hear words. <laughs> Going downhill. Take you're gonna dive off the deep end. Yeah, but we hope you enjoyed our seven year anniversary with us. I can't believe it's been seven years. Aww. So long. Wonder what we'll be thinking in seven years from now. I know. Then we're gonna be cringing it now. And now. And we're gonna be like, can you believe that we sat there and did these memories? Didn't think I'd end up in jail, but. All right. Thank you for joining us. Do not forget to click the link below to shop my picks for ThreadUp and use my code Hannah A to get an extra 35% off your first order. And we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.